1898, during the height of the Spanish-American War, Dr. Jose Celso Barbosa and other doctors traveled to San Juan to aid wounded Puerto Rican and Spanish soldiers who were fighting against the U.S. invasion of the island. He and his party risked their lives as they had to travel across San Juan Bay on a ferry during heavy cannon fire in order to help these soldiers. Such an act was the personification of the man who would not only become known as the father of the Puerto Rico statehood movement, but whose work also included contributions in medicine and public health. Barbosa was born in 1857 in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, to parents of African and European ancestry. He received his primary and secondary education at Puerto Rico's prestigious Jesuit Seminary where he was the first student of noticeable African descent to attend. After graduating from the seminary, Barbosa tutored private students to save money to attend college. In 1875, he moved to New York City where he learned to speak English in less than a year. While in New York, Barbosa sought to become a lawyer, but after suffering a bout with pneumonia, his doctor suggested he should take up the study of medicine. Initially, he attempted to enroll at the College of Physicians and Surgeons, which became Columbia University Medical School, but was rejected due to being of noticeable African descent. However, he did not give up and eventually enrolled successfully at the University of Michigan in 1877. He graduated as valedictorian of the class of 1880, becoming the first Puerto Rican to earn a medical degree in the United States. Shortly after, he returned to Puerto Rico, which was still a colony of Spain at that time, and he set up a practice in his native town of Bayamón. However, the Spanish authorities refused to recognize his medical degree because it came from the United States. But with the support of the American consulate, who intervened on his behalf, his degree was eventually recognized and he was allowed to practice medicine. Soon, he was practicing medicine all over the island but eventually became concerned for those who couldn't afford or didn't have sufficient access to health care. He proposed that employers should pay a fee for the future health care needs of their employees, which would provide them with access to medical services and prevent them from falling into poverty due to illness. This was a very innovative idea at the time, as there was no public health system or social security in Puerto Rico under the Spanish colonial rule. Barbosa also founded the first Puerto Rican cooperative, El Auro Colectivo, in 1893, which offered savings and loans to its members, as well as health insurance benefits. Barbosa's vision was to create a more equitable and prosperous society for Puerto Ricans, regardless of their color or social class. He believed that health insurance was a human right and a social responsibility. As a political leader, Barbosa was active in the autonomous movement, seeking autonomy under Spanish rule. However, when the U.S. successfully took Puerto Rico from Spain in 1898, he would take on a different approach. On July 4th of 1899, Barbosa and a group of supporters founded Puerto Rico's first political party under U.S. rule, the Republican Party of Puerto Rico, whose primary objective was to have Puerto Rico become a state of the U.S. Barbosa was also one of the few Puerto Ricans appointed to the executive cabinet by the first civilian governor of the island under U.S. rule, Charles H. Allen, in 1900, serving until 1917. He was also elected as a member of the Senate from 1917 to 1921. He died on September 21st of 1921 at the age of 64. Dr. Jose Celso Barbosa was influenced by his education and experience in the U.S., where he admired the Republican system of government and the opportunities for progress and development. He believed that by becoming a state, Puerto Rico would reap political and economic benefits. He also thought that the U.S. would respect the civil rights and cultural identity of Puerto Ricans and that statehood would grant them full citizenship and representation. Today, his legacy is honored and respected by most, even those of different political beliefs, and his birthday is an official holiday on the island. 
Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Help us to spread this video by sharing. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos.